lot of the work that I do um, is meant to enhance our ability uh, to protect our food supply and consumer uh, health. We have faculty that work in meat science, um, nutrition, uh, safety, um, myself being one of those that works in the uh, food safety arena. Uh, we have faculty that are very interested and conduct research in genomics. Um, and we have faculty that work in nutrition. Um, and, and there are really um, a lot of neat areas, sub, sub disciplines that our faculty work. So a large majority of what we do here at the University of Wyoming is related to um, industry-driven research. So those can range from nutrition, reproduction, animal health, uh, product improvement, and just management of production. Uh, more recently, we're, we're focused on uh, utilizing nutrition to improve uh, production and, and animal health as it relates to mammary health in sheep. So, um, I think if you had to encapsulate all of our efforts, uh, it's, it's focused on industry-driven needs. So our area of research is um, looking at the rumen microbiome and how that impacts host performance um, long term. But specifically, we're trying to look at um, how the rumen's colonized early in life and how um, maybe we can manipulate that or alter that in a way to improve efficiency long term. So that's kind of our, our overarching goal. My research project currently includes evaluating fatty acid components in ovine carcasses. So we're looking at sheep fatty acid profiles and we're trying to determine if there is a negative or positive sensory experience with different consumers. We have a couple of different research projects that are currently going on, one of which is an undergraduate student-led uh, research project that is characterizing the shelf life spoilage microorganisms. My primary interest uh, research-wise is in the area of reproductive physiology. So my main interest is studying how we improve fertility in livestock species, particularly cattle and sheep. So one project that we recently worked in was a project where we wanted to understand what genes were involved in controlling embryo survival in cattle. We do very well in terms of providing um, high, high quality instruction to our students. We are a very popular major. Uh, we do attract students um, from all over the state and neighboring states and beyond because we do have a really great reputation in teaching 